What are rendering variants and when should you use them? Most of the components in SXA, most of the components that display content <coughs> can be styled using rendering variants. Uh, SXA might be all drag and droppy, but you should not be sloppy with your content definition. Therefore, I've created a simple site in which I've created some um, page templates that uh, I can uh, put fields in, which can be then exposed with rendering variants. So in my template, I've uh, created a blog post with uh, a number of fields uh, like author, web publication, lead image, summary, so that I can later uh, easily create further blog posts. And then I've created a number of those. And in case of this uh, blog post, I've actually provided uh, some data so that we can see how to expose them later. I have this blog post uh, opened here and I want to display those fields. For that, I'm going to drop page content on the page. By default, it uses the first found variant, which in my case, in case of page content, is content, which is a system variant. But I'm going to create a new variant to give my blog posts better, um, well, to display all of their content. So for my page content variant, I'm going to create a variant definition. I'm going to call it a blog post. And in that blog post, I want to display the title, which each SXA page has. And this title is going to have an H1. So one thing that I did that I skipped over is when you create a rendering variant, you can create all the various uh, types, all the various rendering variant the renderers. Um, in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to focus on the simplest one, which expose fields and allow you to structure the rendering variant. So I've created a field that exposes a title and wrapped it with H1. Let's go to that page and let's reload it so that we can see the rendering variant. And I'm going to show this uh, variant, which is a blog post. It doesn't have H1 probably because I haven't saved this item yet. Now let's reload and we have the title in here. Other than this, well, I want to display an author, so I'm going to add an author field. And in this case, I want to have it uh, more aligned uh, as a text because I'm going to put a date next to it in just a moment. So I'm going to make it a span and I'm going to add it a title, uh, sorry, uh, some formatting. But remember, don't do it normally. Your fields and your components should be styled by a theme. I'm doing this as a matter of um, exception because I want to show you how easy it is to uh, lay them out uh, with SXA. So my author is going to have a style and I'm going to give it a font, font style italic and I want to have it after the title. Let's save that and let's see how my page changed. Now I have a post. This is, again, the rendering variants are just a window on your content, right? So they allow you to structure the HTML. They don't uh, by themselves provide, um, uh, provide uh, content, although 
I'm just going to break that what I just said because I'm going to give this author a prefix. I'm going to just put a text in front of it because I want to uh, display that this all this Adam is actually an author. So I'm going to put it author. Oh, let me rename it to avoid a confusion. Author prefix. And I'm going to also make it a span. And since this is a text, uh, it's just going to have a span in uh, in front of, uh, well, right now in front of the other fields. I'm going to just put it author so that I can give the author a meaning. And I'm going to give it. bold look and feel and I'm going to move it before my author. So I should have an h1 title, author and author prefix, which is just the text and the author field. There we go. The author is not bold because probably it is this style is probably being removed by my theme anyway the author is here the Adam field is the author field is here now let's keep going to the right of the author I would like to add the uh, web publication date so I have a web publication field in my blog post and it's a date time so I want to have it exposed. I'm going to add this field. Actually, I'm not going to add it as field. I'm going to add it as a date because then I will be able to format it nicely. So I'm going to say web publication. In my rendering variant, I want to have it after the author. And it's going to be a span again. But I want it uh, to have a nice long uh, format. And I'm going to say that it is that it should be on the right. There, save that. Let's see how my variant looks right now. There we go. We have a nice, nicely formatted date. Let me change the format of the date so that you can see that I can have it in a different way. And again, we have it changed on the right. Now, below that, I want to display a line. So, I'm going to add an HTML tag. As a last, and I'm going to use an HR. Let's see, how did this change my variant? There we go. After the author and date, I have a dividing line so I can put more content uh, in there. Okay, so after my line, I want to start displaying the content of the blog. So in my blog, what other fields do I have that I might need to expose? Well, I have a summary, I have a lead image, and I have content. So I'm going to put a summary first. Actually, display it as a last, and because this is oh, let me just sort as last, and because this is an important element of the page, I'm going to give it an H4 style, 
and again let's see how does my blog look like right now there we go I have my summary oh wrong navigation I have my summary displayed here in the bottom and it's being wrapped in the h4 tag right summary now let's render an image my lead image so let's add a field and it's called lead image again sorting it as a last and in the final push have the content and again put it as the last element let's save that and let's look how my blog post looks that's fine that's not bad uh, I have a blog post uh, all of this is a single rendering variant called blog post but I just have a stream of tags in here I want to give them some um, I want to give them some structure so that I can um, so, that I, so that you can see that uh, it doesn't have to be just a stream of tags so I'm going to add a section and I will call it header wrapper and I'm going to move some of my fields into that section so I will have a author information and web publication put in that wrapper and just so that you can see that it is really in there I'm going to give it some color so I'm going to say uh, style slightly lightly gray let's refresh that okay so now you can see that actually I have my wrapper in here you can see that it's a shade a slightly uh, gray shade well a shade of gray uh, that wraps my uh, page content so what did I use for that for the whole variant well I used a wrapper and a title which I wrapped with h1 I have a text just a basic text an author field renderer the date renderer which I can format in whichever way I need then a self-closing tag those tags you can't really put anything in them that's why they have been uh, separated and then I'm rendering other fields for that now that's a blog post but then I don't want to uh, for authors to go to each post one after another I'm actually mixing it with another topic which probably I shouldn't but I want to show you that it's easy to actually style all of my uh, blog posts um, without the need for further designing so I'm going to create a partial design I'm going to say blog post partial and in my blog post partial I'm actually going to drop my page content with the predefined blog post style you can see that it is styled but it displays those fields uh, the title field author field summary field because partial design doesn't have those fields yet you want to see that there is something that will be rendered so I'm going to 
save that partial design and for my blog posts I'm going to create a page design so that I can assign them. So I'm going to create a blog post design and I'm going to make use of the header and footer that I have. You always want to have a metadata and I want to have my blog post partial. Save that. So I have a blog post design now and I'm going to say that my blog posts instead of using the default design should use the blog post design. You're doing this by ass uh, assigning uh, the, uh, uh, the data template of type blog post to the blog post design. Save that. Now, if I go to home and navigate to any of the posts, they are always going to have the partial design that I've created. In case of blog post where I haven't uh, assigned, you can see that, well, it's empty. However, I can fully edit those fields that I've exposed. Basically, what I've did is I've created a, a layout that is going to be automatically used for new blog posts with a rendering variant in 15 minutes. Thank you.